get a full house, guys. There's Ashby. Easton. Both the dogs. And there's our dad. Now <laughs> there's my dog. Heading back out to the river lot for another weekend of fun, fun adventure of working on the camping. A day and a half that our game plan this weekend is to put the tin roof on. That was what we were hoping to get down there uh, last time we was out. It started raining on us, so unfortunately we had to go buy a tarp, tarp off the roof and everything. But the game plan is to put the tin roof on this weekend and get her uh, ready to start working on the inside. Hopefully we can uh, accomplish that this weekend and bring you along with us there. So we are headed on out in the river lot. Can't wait. Water's so good you can drink it straight from the pipe, huh, Colton? Yeah, you can. Watch. I see it. Is that good water? Yeah, you want to see it now? Oh, it's full. That one's full. All right, Phil makes up. Can someone help me hold that? Here, can you come on me? I can. This is You can lift the gallon. Maybe. Wait, how much does the gallon weigh again? 8.3 pounds. How much does it weigh, Colton? Does the gallon weigh? That's not all the way full, Mink. Fill it all the way up, buddy. Not yet. Dip your head in there. Once you drink it, we'll drink it. There's a worm in there. Colton, thing. grab the drinking water. <laughs> I ate them. You can move that. I think yours is full now, Mink. Does that feel good? Hey, guys. So I wanted to share with you a couple of our favorite spots on the property. Um... I absolutely love all the little trails and paths and everything through these big old trees. Um, it just kind of seems magical because literally um, most of the time all you hear is the birds and occasionally a vehicle like right now. Um, but I want to take some pea gravel and um, define these paths and so that way when it rains and gets muddy and stuff, um, you know, we can go from one side of the property to the other without being all muddy and gross make it really beautiful um all of this needs so much work so much mowing you wouldn't believe how much we've done but um we still have so much more to do um to get the property where we need it it's it's gonna be just as much work outside actually probably more outside than inside um but this spot right here totally speaks to my inner child and i wanted to share this with everyone because um this is probably I'd say my maybe my second favorite spot on the property. We're not sure what we're gonna do with it yet, but let me explain it. We have about six trees um, that almost go in like a perfect circle oval shape, and wrapped around that there is some old some of this, which I will probably have to replace, or I might be able just to repair in spots, but it's pretty bad. And then it has this old picket fence right here. Um, originally, I thought I would love to have done a garden in here, but I just don't think that there's enough sunlight for um, and space for the type of garden that I, um, you know, want for our family. So um, we have had a, bounced a couple different ideas off each other, um, all the way from building something for the kids. We know we're going to put a treehouse out here, so this might be a really cool spot for an over-the-top, magical little place for the kids. Um, 
if it isn't the best trees for that, then we have um, also considered making this. Um, I would love to just put like so many beautiful, beautiful flowers in here over the top, like little fancy garden area with, um, they used to have a swing that came down from those two, um, T-posts, are those called T-posts? I don't know, <laughs> but they are right now. Um, they look like T's, right? And, um, hang from that. And so it'd almost be nice to do something like that, like put another old swing there or something. I really don't know, so it'll be cool to see what we do with this. And when we have it mowed down, you'll be able to tell better how cool this spot really, really is. Because I just absolutely, Wayne laughs at me sometimes because I just love this spot so much. Okay, guys, so I wanted to share another favorite spot on the property. Um, this one, we, we bought this lot, um, I think it would be about three years ago. So we've had more of a chance to kind of clear out some of the river bank and make it really nice. I love the way that the trees arch here. This is probably my favorite spot. Um, and we still have a lot of work to do, but like I said, I mean, we have no electric out here. Everything that we're doing, we're doing off of generators and stuff. So it's a slow process, but um, all of this over here, well, pretty much all of it is public land right across from us. So um it's just really awesome we um just yesterday actually all the kids my three-year-old can walk across this um and we go over on these beachy areas and the girls kind of lay out and watch the kids swim and um the guys yesterday there's a big mud hill you can't see it over here they were all the kids and the guys were sliding down this huge mud hill into the river just so much fun and so beautiful. It's like so wild out here. Um, that's going to take some getting used to on my part at nighttime. During the day, I could not feel happier, more at peace. And nighttime, sometimes it's different um, what I'm used to. But it's so beautiful, you guys. And the water is actually pretty muddy today. So sometimes the water is like this. And sometimes it's like a more of a greenish color, like a light green and you can actually see everything. So it just kind of depends on the rain and when it's rained and how muddy the water is. But so beautiful, guys. So beautiful. Well, I'm heading over to the cabin to get started here. Rip off this tarp and uh, start slapping this roof down. Hopefully things go smoothly for us today, but we'll see.
So we uh, worked hard all day today, putting on the uh, furring strips. It's been a long process and it was hot, I'm telling you. Hotter and all get out. But uh, we did what we set out to do today, I guess, is get all the furring strips up and then uh, we'll work on putting the tent up tomorrow. So, Right now I'm walking back over towards the cabin. Just get a little bit of video of what we got done so far. And then we're going to load up and go frog gigging. So it's almost dark here. Probably another hour before dark. So we're getting the boats and stuff loaded up. And take the kids out and see if we can't get Colton's first frog. He's pretty excited. He's had a few opportunities, but hasn't been able to capitalize on it yet. So, as we can see, up on the roof, up here, climb up these stairs here. See, we got the furring strips up. On all the roof there, and ready to start uh, finally putting the tent on. So, so we're going to take a break, take the kids out, have a good time, do some frog gigging. Hopefully, we're able to knock a couple frogs down to that tonight and fix up some frog legs for lunch tomorrow. So, we'll be back with you with uh, tomorrow's progress or tonight's frog legs one or the other all right Absolutely. Oh. 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 You're two. four, buddy. <laughs> it's two days. Two days, four years old. <laughs> and and after and after and, we, <laughs> and it and it stormed on us when we tried to go to the uh, uh first stuff and and it stormed off on us today when I was trying to catch two white chickens. <laughs> and, and comment down below. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, Please subscribe down below. <laughs> Say bye, buddy. <laughs> no.